friends, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be filming something quite exciting. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to switch up your loungewear and make it go from kind of more like a home style to something that you can actually wear on the street and look freaking cool. I'm gonna be showing you how to go from this to this. So if you're interested in learning how to get from there to there, then keep watching. And also, if you do enjoy luxury videos, styling videos, fashion videos, shopping videos, then go ahead and give me a subscribe. That will really, really help me out a lot. Um, I'm, as you guys know, I'm trying to grow this channel from kind of nothing much. And I've been trying to be more consistent with uploading videos. So, um, you know, every time I see a new subscriber, it inspires me more. So I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button and also ring that notification bell. All right, so now let's get on into the video. Okay, so I'm trying to get a little smarter about this whole filming situation and so I started to write notes so that I can keep myself organized and um, if I look down, it's because I'm looking at my notes, not because I don't want to engage with you guys. And um, so the first thing that I'm going to mention to help switch up your loungewear, make it look luxe, make it look cool, make it look like street style is to get matching sets or match similar tones together so for example if you can see this set that i wore or in the photo that i put up earlier um they're not this is not a set they're bought separately the sweatpants are from sorat and the top is from misguided and um as you can see between the first and second photo the nay versus the yay the nay clearly you can see they're different tones it's kind of like both kind of slouchy and um, whereas for the yay, it kind of looks more cohesive because they're both gray. So that's definitely the number one tip. If you can get a set, get a set because it's just easier. You know, you just like pop them together and you don't have to think so much. But if not, then I encourage you to be wearing um, similar colors together. So it could be like gray and gray, black and black, white and white. You get the gist. So yeah, that's my first tip. We're moving on to our second tip, which is to either crop belt or wear a bodysuit so for this specific look i am wearing a bodysuit this gray little thing is a bodysuit and um, it just makes your figure or makes you look a little bit more cinched in which is very very important for you to look put together especially when you're wearing like loungewear or alternatively, you can wear a crop top as well. So if you have something that's kind of longer, then you just like tuck it under your bra and then make it crop or fold it up and make it look cropped. And it will just make the whole look look so much better. And I'll insert a clip here so I will show you guys like the difference between uh, lounge set cropped and not cropped. That way you can kind of see the difference it makes. And um, if you're wearing like a sweatshirt dress type of situation, then I'll say belt it. Belting it will just give you that little bit of a waist or a little bit more of a figure compared to just like having it hang loose. I mean, you can do that too, but um, I do think that having that like belt will give it a little bit more of an elevated look. And now on to the third tip, and that is to accessorize, accessorize, accessorize. So for example, um, in that photo, you know, you guys saw that I had necklace on, I had a hair clip on, I had my sunglasses on. And again, I'm gonna show you guys um, the like a before and after photo. The difference of accessorizing can make a huge, huge difference. It kind of make you go from chilling, lying on the couch with a bag of chips vibe to going luxury shopping at Chanel. So accessories is key here i don't know how much more i can stress it like if you're to pick one thing that is going to make the biggest difference is accessorizing and to add on to that um when when you choose a bag i highly suggest carrying a mini bag versus like an oversized tote because to me when you wear an oversized tote it kind of just looks a little bit more casual and it makes your whole look still remain kind of in that casual realm. Whereas if you bring a mini tote, a mini bag, you just start to look like, oh, okay, she's going somewhere. She's, she's, she's fashionable, she's, she's cool, you know? And adding on top of that, sunglasses. <sighs> sunglasses. 
I don't know if if you guys know me, you know I love a good pair of sunglasses. They don't have to be expensive. The ones I'm wearing in that photo, those are like ten dollars, super cheap. But again, you kind of want it to have some sort of like a structured shape. So I won't really go for like a round pair of sunglasses. I'll go kind of more for a square um, or like a cat eye, like a sharper edge one. So your whole look kind of feels a little bit more edgy um, and less casual. And needless to say, jewelry always dresses everything up. Jewelry is live, you know. So if you can see the difference, just like having something like that, a little bit, I'll say like add a little bit of a bling, you know, um, a little bit of a statement necklace. So of course you can wear like, you know, dainty necklaces, which I feel is more everyday. But when you're trying to dress up a casual look or a loungewear look, then I'll go for something a little bit more like in your face. Just a little bit in your face, not like too much, you know? So something like that, again, I'll link this necklace down below because a lot of people are like, where is this from? I need to know. Um, it's from Amazon. Again, I'll link it down below. But this for me is like my go-to um, necklace to wear with a casual look or a loungewear set. And wear. next up is heels. So in the photo, you know, I wore sneakers in the, in the nay photo and then heels on the yay photo. So you can kind of see the difference, like heels just gives you a little bit more height and um, it also makes you look a little bit more polished compared to sneakers. You can still wear sneakers if let's say you're wearing something that is um, like a sweater dress, so shorter, so you can show some leg, you know? But if you're wearing like sweatpants, leggings, joggers, then with sneakers it keeps it so super, super chill a little too chill you know what i mean so i would highly suggest you wearing a pair of heels to kind of make yourself look like okay i'm going out i'm not like i didn't just like roll out of bed i'm actually going outside and i put in some effort so um i'm going to show you in the cutaway as well uh wearing heels versus sneakers and the difference it can make to a loungewear set and um you know hopefully that will be helpful in helping you visualize the difference. And the last tip I have is a very simple one, and it's, but it's also very easy. So it would be to add a lip color. You know, cause you're wearing sunglasses, well, if you follow my tips, you'll be wearing sunglasses and that will just give you already like an elevated look. But if you don't have lip color and just going out with like plain lips, you know, sometimes you can look a little pale and that in terms like make it feel like you didn't get ready. So again, popping on something a little bit on the, not too bright, but a little bit of like pinky tone, a little bit of color. And then especially with like a gloss that just makes your look still casual, but it looks like you actually kind of got ready, like tried a little harder. And, um, you know, I've done so many photo shoots where I forgot to put on my lipstick and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, wait, I need to redo everything because the lipstick or lip gloss makes a huge difference. So I definitely really think that's like, that's like a super easy one. Um, everyone has like a lip gloss and lip color in their bag. So, you know, before you go out, just pop it on and you look so much more put together. Okay guys, so these are my five quick tips. I think they're all pretty simple, pretty easy but i would love to know which is your favorite or which one you found the most helpful in the comments below and i don't want to keep this video too too long so i'm just gonna i'm gonna leave you guys here and again don't forget to subscribe and i'm gonna link um my other video up here again this one is going to be my um handbag video but for you guys to go take a little watch and um let me know what you think as well so i will see you guys in my next video again don't forget to subscribe and uh have a great rest of your day all right talk to you guys in my next one bye